What's up guys, it's Joseph 704 sorry for the crappy uh, camera, I'm actually recording this with my webcam today, my uh, flip camera is on the fritz, I don't know what's going on, I won't take a charge. Anyways, I have been gone for a very long time, I'm sorry, just life in general. Um, I don't have a really, really big update, I know I've been gone for like, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say five months, maybe less, I'm not even sure. It's been a while since my last Blu-ray update in my unboxing. So I've been a while for a long time. But um, I have a big Blu-ray update. It's not that much, like I said. But uh, let's get started. And uh, yeah, the first movie I got, which this didn't really get that, um, didn't get a lot, of, a lot of support. And I don't know why. And I really, really love this movie. This is like one of my favorite Liam Nielsen movies right now. And that's The Grey. Uh, I think he did fantastic in this, and it's a shame because I heard they want to re-release this, but they weren't going to re-release it, or they're going to re-release it if it didn't get that much good views, and a lot of people just didn't didn't give this that much views. I mean, critics, if you go on, I don't, I don't really like going on Rotten Tomato because I found Rot Rotten Tomato is just a, a place where people just criticize movies. It's a really a basher website. They really just brutally murder movies, like, like what they're doing to The Dark Knight right now. Not that it's getting bad. Uh, uh, information people are people are liking the movie, but besides the fact is they they gave really mediocre things about this. A lot of people said it was a waste of time. Blah blah blah. I just don't like I don't like Rotten Tomato. But in my case, I'm not Rotten Tomatoes. I'm Giuseppe. So uh, let's let me just give you a straight up with this. This movie is really good. the The cinematography in this film is beautiful. It's really really it's. It's got some really nice scenes to it. Um, acting. This is this, this is a drama, so it's it's just got a lot of drama in it, and it's really good. It's I don't really want to give away a story, but it's about a bunch of guys, Liam Nelson in that case. He they're in the cold and the the plane crashes and they gotta survive the pack of wolves and they gotta run from. It's more of a survivor thriller drama film. I'm sure you guys heard of it. Um, definitely pick this up. Rent it first. Netflix it. It's a very good one. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Redbox has this too. It's like a dollar or something on DVD or Blu-ray, whatever you want to do. Very good movie. And I think it's in my player right now. I was watching it recently. It's really good. Really, really good. Check this one out. Um, another movie. Uh, this is Yeah, I did this one. I just got this like a week ago. And I didn't do an I didn't do an unboxing of this because a lot of people a lot of people have been doing a lot of unboxing videos recently. But besides the fact is I got this only for you know me in 3D and animation. I only got this not really for story, for an actor that's in it because I really like the actor that 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 plays this character, and I really like the colorful animation movies and that's the Lorax. I had to pick this up and I had to get it in 3D even though I don't own a 3D. Uh, mo uh, uh, like TV yet, but I'm trying to work on getting a 3D projector because I feel a 3D projector is even more immersive than a 3D TV because it's like you're, you're looking at a 3D TV, looking at a box, but with a projector, you're looking at a big home theater screen. And now I live in my living room now, so I could put like a, almost a 135 inch screen in my in my living room which is great. I have a really big size living room. So hopefully in the future I can get a 3D projector. But this movie in general, yeah, it's not really a, an amazing story. But animation-wise, colorful-wise, it's brilliant. It's really cool. Uh, it comes with a really cool slip case. Uh, it is a slip case. Uh, came in all these the three discs. You know, it has your digital copy, your Blu-ray, ultraviolet, all that cool stuff, I guess you can call it. Um, and my favorite actor, which plays a Lorax, Danny DeVito. I really, really love him. I actually met Danny DeVito at my job. He came and he signed autographs for his, uh, his alcohol beverage called Lemon Cello. And I got a picture with him and everything. Uh, not with him, but I got a picture of him signing his autograph of the Lemon Cello. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, good movie. Story is not that great. I mean, a lot of people didn't like this movie because they really felt that this movie was pushing the fact of don't kill the trees. But I didn't really pay attention to that. I mean, it doesn't really bother. I really pay attention to more of the colorful acts. But when I watch animation, I mostly pertain to the, the humor and the colorful, the way it was made. I don't really 
story really isn't important to me. Unless it's a Pixar film, then it really matters to me. But even then, this is a good film. And these are people who made uh, Despicable Me, which is really damn good. I like Despicable Me. I heard they're working on the second one. And the minions are in the beginning of this, but they just come out like a little for a little scene. It's pretty cool. Uh, they have some really cool characters in this as well. Besides the Lorax, you do get these little fish that sing all the time. It's a little bit of a musical, too, this movie. If you don't like musicals, then stray away. But it's a funny musical thing. Uh, this is really cool. And they have, like, little teddy bears. They almost look like minions, but they're teddy bears. And they eat marshmallows. The whole, the whole freaking movie, they're eating marshmallows. It's hilarious. It's really funny. Definitely check this one out or rent it. It's really good. Another... Another 3D movie, which I had to get, you know, ever since they, they, they stopped making, DreamWorks started making another franchise, and they moved on to another franchise with DreamWorks, you know, I had a bias, I'm like, I'm in, and that is Puss in Boots. I know, these some of these movies you're going to see, like, holy crap, this came out like a couple of months ago, I know, I haven't been here on, on YouTube, so yeah. Uh, this is really good, I really wish I could see the 3D on this, I did check the 3D on it though on my aunt's. Uh, she bought a 3D TV, and it looks pretty damn good. The 3D is really immersive, and it really sucks you in, and it really it really flies out at you. I like DreamWorks. They're not my, my most favorite company of all time, but they do make some good movies like How to Train Your Dragon. Puss in Boots really was entertaining, and it really did feel like its own film, not just a Shrek film. I do like the, I do like the Shrek franchises as well. Um, one thing... I wish I really did have was a 3D TV, but this was really good. And story-wise, it was funny, it was cute, it was entertaining. I, I really, really liked how the characters, how, like, they still kept uh, Antonio Banderas for Puss. Uh, and I liked how they made Humpty Dumpty. Zach Galifianakis was Humpty Dumpty, and he was hilarious as Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty, that's my phone ringing. Uh, but really, really, it was really good. Um, definitely check this one out. It's a good one. Really, it's a great one. Uh, I say pick this one up because if you have a 3D movie, I mean a 3D TV or a 3D projector, whatever, or a 3D monitor, this is a really good one to get because this really sucked you in. Um, another movie which I found, I found this one. This one got an Oscar, got a couple of Oscars. I don't even know if I even showed this off yet. I think I no, I didn't. I did an unboxing of this. This, I found this one to be really good, but it was to me. There was just so much. It was more dialogue. I'm an action kind of guy. I like stuff that blows up in your face. And I do like dramas. I do like thrillers. But when there's so much talking and you're like not intrigued by action while there's talking, it's just so hard to watch. And I still loved it. I still really did love it. I only watched it once though, but I still liked it. And that was Hugo. I didn't see it in 3D. Of course not. Uh, but I had a 3D copy as well. A lot of 3D movies here, guys. I don't know why, but just bear with me. Um, I liked it. I really did like it. It just what what was missing it. It was just there was a lot of dialogue, more dialogue than action, and a lot of people got really like mind switched because they thought this was gonna be action packed with a lot of dialogue, but it wasn't. It was more dialogue than action. There was only a couple scenes that had action, but they weren't really like amazing. The train scene was cool and all that, but and but. Picture quality wise and and uh, cinema quality wise, it it is really a really good film. Now, do I say this is Martin Scorsese's best? No, this is not his best, but this is one of his good ones. One of his good ones. Can this be Casino? That's a different topic. You can't really compare them to. You can't really you can't really compare those movies together because that's a mafia movie. This is a a, ki a more of a children's family kind of movie. This is is this worth owning? Yes, picture quality wise, I give it five stars. It is amazing, um, really good. Uh, audio quality wise, I believe it's seven point one. Yeah, it's seven point one DTS. So if you have seven point one, even booming master uh, uh, soundtrack as well. Um, I really do like the characters in this. Uh, Hugo was was cool too. It just didn't really capture my my. Uh, emotions very well i still will i still will come back to it and watch it but as far as um adoring it for now i don't really i don't know it, it's it's really hard to explain i haven't really figured it out yet it's a good movie but it's just it's, it's just something that's missing for me and i think it's the more there's more dialogue than less action it'd be nice if they if they made more action and dialogue together 50 50 but hey 
you get what you pay for, and it definitely, this is definitely worth I did see the 3D in this actually at my aunt's house. We watched a little skip of it, and it really is immersive. Like, it feels like you're there. Um, pretty cool. Another movie, which I really like the soundtrack to this. Um, always, I don't know, it's a really, they use the same, the same song in this movie over and over again. But in different with diff, di, with some different instruments. But still, I still really like this. I only watched it once. I'm not gonna lie. Been so busy with all this other crap. Uh, and that's War Horse. Now, a lot of people are saying that this isn't Steven Spielberg's best. Well, I don't think this is his best. I think this is his best. Um, not even his best. I think this is more of his his way of showing that he could still do film in a cool way. Not in a cool way, but in more of a, a cinematography way. More of a he could he still has the touch. I think that's what this movie really brought. I think that's why he brought this one out. Just that he still has the touch, and it was up for some Oscars. I don't think it won any. I don't know. I don't think it did win, win any of them. I'm not, I'm not even sure. Uh, it was up for the best picture of the year, but I don't think it won it. I don't. I don't. I don't know. It didn't. Um, but I I still liked it. Um, I was gonna buy the other version with it, but. I can't stand when Disney comes out with these cases that, you know, we're in Blu-ray right now. It's a Blu-ray case. But then they come out with the, the DVD version, which comes with the DVD and the Blu-ray. But it comes in a DVD case. That kind of, like, pisses me off. Like, they're just really... I mean, as for DVD owners who don't really want to get into Blu-ray right now. But come on, we, it's 2012. I mean, if you're not getting into Blu-ray, what's the point of even buying a movie nowadays? Because half the movies come with a DVD anyways when you buy a Blu-ray. It doesn't make sense. But in terms of this movie, this movie struck my more I really felt more into it than I was with Hugo. This one more had had more action scenes and it had more had action and dialogue together like Hugo should have had. But I really did like the cinematography in this. I did I liked the camera angles. I liked the the actors. I liked the action. I really did enjoy this film. Uh this is definitely a worth rent. Redbox has it I know for like a dollar or dollar twenty nine, whatever you can get for the Blu ray. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's on Netflix yet, but you never know. Probably is. Uh, Netflix is doing pretty good with that. Um, definitely check this one out. Own it if you really like Steven Spielberg. If you don't like movies like this, this is more. I would say this is more like a drama, action. Uh, more, more of a um a good uh cinema type f uh, film. It's really good. I liked it, and it really. I liked how I like the name of the horse. The name of the horse is Joey. Which is my name, which is it's it's kind of funny, so I don't know. I didn't feel like the horse, but I just I really I liked it. It was good. Um, another movie which I really really loved. It's a little dusty because I painted. Uh, it's good, and I really like Daniel Craig, and I forget the name of this girl. Oh, uh, Rooney Mar Mara. She was sorry. Anyways, you already know where the movie is. Yeah, it's the the girl with the dragon tattoo. This is the American version. Not the UK version or the British version. I think it's the UK version. I never seen that version of the Dragon Girl, the uh, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. The other one. I only seen this version. I only have this version. This is a really cool set. Um, it's almost like I believe David Fincher is the director for this. If I'm correct, correct me wrong. Sometimes I'm a little wrong with the directors. I think David Fincher is the is the is the maker of this. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, yeah. Anyways, this little this feels like the the same as that case as the uh, Facebook movie. It has that really cool feel to it. You see how it looks, and then you know you open it up, and it has the actors and Daniel Craig. By the way, I cannot wait for the new uh, 007 Skyfall film. Looks amazing. And then you know you have this little cool thing here, the movie itself and all that, and it has like a little cool like a DVD thing kind of thing. It's pretty damn cool. I really like this little set. It's pretty nifty. Um, in terms of movie, I really did like this movie. I felt like this was a solid, like espionage, uh, murder. It, it, it remind me of um, mixed without the zombies from Resident Evil. I don't know why. It remind me a little bit of without the zombies and the, and like the, the the brains of what Resident Evil had, and more of um, the Athica Christie ga video games. How you had to find find and solve the murder murdering things but in a little different of its own way really good acting from daniel craig this is i think this is one of his best besides um 007 but he really did a good job with this one and the same goes for the girl who played uh uh her name is rooney i, I can't remember her name properly but i'm trying uh so yeah 
It's a good movie, definitely. I think this is a most. This is an own. Uh, do I think it's better than the the other version? I like I said, I've never seen the other version, so I can't really make my own opinion on that. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I mean, I hear other people. I have a lot of other friends who are who are from from uh, the UK, and they say that they like they like the American version versus they like the other version. But they like some people like both, so it doesn't really matter. Picture quality. I don't know if I ever said that. Picture quality is really good, really good, and that goes for audio too. I can really picture me watching this over and over again. It has a 5.1, and the it has a it's 5.1 DTS mastered audio. It had a really good soundtrack too. I really like the soundtrack. If I'm correct, if I'm correct, David David Fincher wrote this. He did a good job, really good job. And I'm really really eager to see the next one. This is a really good film. Definitely definitely worth buying. Another movie, which got attention in, in the box office. I don't think it was in the box office for pretty long where I lived, if, if anything. Um, I like this one more than I like the first one. I still like the first one, but I like this one the most. Uh, this one's really entertaining, and that is Sherlock Holmes' The Game of Shadows. Now, I really, really like this movie, but what I like most of it all is the soundtrack. I love Hans Zimmer. I know he did write this, so people are saying he didn't. I'm sure if he did it because I can tell when it's Hans Zimmer. I can just tell the way his orchestra is. I know who writes the music. I can just tell. Ever since I watched The Dark Knight and the other movies that like Pirates of the Caribbean, I know right away it's Hans Zimmer. I know right away. Maybe even in, maybe even for the, uh, the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, I think he did, even did some of the soundtrack. I could be wrong though. I'm not even sure. But the soundtrack on this is even better than the first. I really did like the soundtrack. Acting wise, I really think Robert Downey Jr. is perfect for Sherlock Holmes. Literally perfect. Um, and uh, uh, Jude Law, he just plays a really good friend in this movie. And he's really entertaining as well. This one more feels more... I really, the slow motion is amazing in this movie. It's so entertaining. Like This movie is really cool when it comes to slow motion. And there's some hilarious parts with Robert Downey Jr. does in this movie where, where he just like dresses up and he camouflages himself in the room and just hides and I don't want to give any spoilers away but I gave a little bit of away. Very funny. Definitely check this out. I think video quality is a 5. It's really good. Um, I don't know what Blu-ray.com gave it. I think they gave it a 5 or 4.5 for video and audio was like a 5. The movie I don't know what they gave. I forgot but I still like this movie. This was a great film and yeah the color the, the slipcase is a little it's like bulged out and it's like a little colorful. It's pretty damn cool. I recommend it. Definitely buy it. Now another movie which I got, and I got I got this movie, and the slipcase is already. I don't know for some reason I bought this movie and the slipcase fell apart. I gotta reglue it back. I don't know why, but um I got the slipcase for it. Uh, it's a uh, protocol Ghost Recon. Ghost Recon. What am I talking about? It's a uh, Ghost Protocol Mission Impossible. Mission Pro Mission Impossible. The fourth Mission Impossible. Jeez. Okay. This was balls to the wall action. This is the kind of film I like. I really like the fact that they, they, they took the Burj Dubai and it's the biggest building in the world and he just basically jumped off of it and did all these cool tricks. Amazing. This is this is my favorite Mission Impossible movie. Besides, I still like the third one. I like the third one a lot. J.J. Abrams did that one too. I think he did a little bit of this one. I'm not really sure. Um, has a really kick-ass soundtrack too and a really good uh, sound and the pitch quality, like I said, is amazing. Really damn good. Uh... We, this movie, you really get the same acting with Tom Cruise, but he does step it up a notch because he does a little, he does more martial arts in this movie, like not kung fu martial, not like that, but more acrobat. Like he jumps off of buildings a lot, and he and he's doing a lot of car scenes, and he's doing a lot of gun spots, and more more. This is there's a lot of dangerous parts in this, and I wouldn't recommend you do it. Um, it's still damn good. I really do like it. I, this is a Definitely, uh, if you're if you're a fan of action films, pick this one up. It's great, really good. Um, there's, there's so much to say about this movie. It's great. It's a shame my my uh, subcover is fucked up, but it doesn't matter. And my last movie, which I think is my last movie, I'm not sure. I can't find some other ones, but this is the one I know I didn't show off. And I'm not even gonna lie, I didn't watch this whole movie. I just couldn't. Not that I hated it, I just. I don't know. It was it was good. I really did enjoy the the cinematography it, and I enjoyed the animation in it. It was more weird. It felt more like Peter Jackson like because yes, uh, Peter Jackson does direct this. So does Steven Spielberg, and that is Tintin. 
I never read the books. This is more like the kind of like the the stage of I think Furious George was out, was out at the time, and this is this book was out at the time. I'm not even sure, but it seems like the more it seems like more Curious George like without the monkey. That's just my mind. I I have a weird mind. Don't even bother with me. Um, it was good. I didn't finish all of it. Matter of fact, I watched it twice or three times, and I just couldn't. I couldn't finish it. Maybe because I was busy and all that. But I would really like to see how the 3D is in this. I hear good things, which is why I want a 3D projector so bad. Um, picture quality wise was, and 2D was a brilliant. It was like a five stars. It's amazing. Really damn good. Audio was amazing. I think this is 7.1 as well. Um, shit. I think it is 7.1. Yeah, 7.1 DTS HD as well. Um, really damn good. If you could find this, get it. I know there's a lot of different versions out there. There's a German Steelbook one, a French, there's a Canadian. I think Canadian almost looks the same, but I think it's a digital book. I'm not even sure. Um, definitely check this one out. When it comes to story-wise, I mean, I, I really didn't pay attention to the story that much because I wasn't really watching it as much. I, I, it was mostly on and off, I was, but I really liked it for, for the most part. It was, it was fun, but I was just so busy that I didn't watch all of it. Uh, animation, it, it feels different. I know it doesn't seem like Avatar uh, animation, like realism, but it feels like its own. Um, I wouldn't compare it to... Mar the, the Mother Mars movie, whatever that, Mars Mars has moms, Mar Mars needs moms, I wouldn't compare it to that, that's like crappy, that's like real shitty animation, this is better than that, this is more CGI, uh, cinematography, but car animation like, not like the Lorax or Pixar, but it's own, it's good, it's in, I think it's in between Avatar and in between Pixar, it's its own. It's its own little ver generic. If anyone knows the name of it, of what the kind of animation this is, uh, put it down below. So yeah, definitely good. Uh, worth it. Um, anyways, guys, thank you for watching this Blu-ray update. Sorry it's been so long. I'm going to stop putting intros in my uh, video, or my updates. I don't know if I'm going to use the intro anymore or outro. I just don't want to... It just seems to be make the video too boring and everything. I don't really want to smuggle everything in but anyways thank you for watching and i will see you guys very soon uh, i think my next video will probably be maybe i'll do an unboxing sometime at end of the end of the end of the month hopefully but i know titanic is coming out so definitely look out for that titanic in 3d definitely be unboxing that one so anyways guys peace and have a good one bye